This is section 7.6, which is moments, centers of mass, and centroids. So force is mass times acceleration. A moment is your mass times x, where x is the length of the moment arm. M is the mass, okay? The moment arm is you have, uh, think of like a seesaw. You have the pivotal point, which is called the fulcrum, and the distance between your mass and that fulcrum is called the moment arm. Okay, so it's basically the just pretty much the location with respect to your your um, pivot point um, that your masses are located at. So the moment about the origin m sub zero is found by finding all of the moments. So each mass times its moment arm, each mass times its moment arm, and then sum those all together. If the uh, m sub zero equals zero, the system is said to be in a state of equilibrium or balanced, like on a seesaw, okay? So even though this person is further out, normally they would make the seesaw tilt this way, but if this person is heavier, it might make it balanced, okay? And so that's what they're talking about in that sense. Now, um, for a system that is not in equilibrium, the center of mass is defined as the point x bar at which the fulcrum could be relocated to attain equilibrium. So maybe these two people weigh exactly the same. Well, then this would not be in a state of equilibrium. But I could probably shift this so that x1 and x2 are the same distance, and then it would be in a state of equilibrium. Okay, And that new position is actually called the center of mass. Okay. Now, in a one-dimensional system, um, you will have a bunch of masses located at a bunch of uh, positions, and the moment about the origin is calculated the same way that it was defined, okay? And then the center of mass is taking that m sub zero and dividing it by m, where m is the total mass of the system, meaning add up all the masses together to get the total mass. If you can figure out this ratio, then you will know where the fulcrum needs to be located to create an equilibrium, state of equilibrium. So let's see um, one example. Here it says, find the center of mass of the linear system. So the first thing I want to do is find my total mass, which I get by adding all of these together. So 10 and 15 is 25. That'll be 30. This is going to be 40. My um, m sub 0 is going to be the product of all of these summed together. So negative 50 plus 0 plus 20 plus 70. And I actually get um, that will give me 20 and 20, so I get 40. So if I want to find the center of mass, I'm going to take m sub 0 over lowercase m, which is 40 over 40, which equals 1. So wherever the fulcrum is currently, if I, and normally when they use negative x values, they usually have the fulcrum at 0, okay, because that's what helps you distinguish between the negatives and the positives. Um, but if I shift the fulcrum over one unit, it will create a state of equilibrium for this system. Now, moments and center of mass in two-dimensional systems means you're going to have two different respective moments. You're going to have the moment about the y-axis, which is m1 times all the x positions, okay, x values of the points. And then you're going to have the moment about the x-axis, which is all the masses times the y values of each of those positions. The center of mass can be calculated by taking the moment about the y-axis over the total mass and the moment over the x value at the total mass. And this will give you the new two-dimensional point to relocate the fulcrum. Okay, um, so here, if for example, too, it says find the center of mass of the system of the point um, located according to the chart below. So if I want to find m, I'm going to add up all of these. So that's 9, 10, 11, plus 9 is 20. And then if I want to find my moments of y, I'm going to take my
my mass and multiply it by my x values. So I get 18, here I get 0, here I get negative 10, and here I get 36. And so if I add all of those up together, I get 44. And then if I want to find my moment of the x, about the x-axis, I'm going to take all my masses and multiply them by my y values. So then I get 0. No, I do not get 0. I get 12, sorry. So then if I want to know what the cent uh, center of mass is, I'm going to do my over x, oh, I'm sorry, over little m, comma, mx over little m, which in my case is 44 over 20, comma, 12 over 20. And if I reduce each of these two fractions, Um, I can divide those by 2. Oh, I could divide them by 4. I get 11 over 5, comma. I could divide those by 4 and 3 over 5. So this is going to be my new center of mass.